We are Team Driblet. We are from Monterrey, Mexico, and we are very excited to be here. Driblet is a smart water management platform that helps you keep track of your water consumption, as well as some other variables like temperature. We participate in a hackathon in Monterrey, Mexico, uh, with the idea of creating a device that allowed me to show my daughter, my teenage daughter, how much water she was using uh, every time she, she took a shower. I needed a way to, to prove her that she was using very much compared to, to the rest of us. So we entered the hackathon, Carlos and I, and uh, we developed a solution to that. Driblet was born from our own necessity. More than that, we found that the, there are governments and whole industries that, that have the need for it. There are parts in the world that uh, water is actually more expensive than gas, for example. Or there are places that their water reserves are measured in days, not in years. We are running out of water. We, we are actually running out. We all have the responsibility to manage water. Our main focus is on the business-to-business -business side, uh, on corporations, NGOs, and governments. Uh, our product fits very well to, to fulfill their necessities. One of the core values of Triplet was um, to make it simple to use. You screw it in like any other, uh, for example, a shower head or a garden hose. The Driblet is configured with the Wi-Fi data, so as soon as it starts working, it can start reporting the volume of water going through the pipe, so you can see your consumptions on each faucet where you have a Driblet installed. We love TechCrunch since the very beginning. TechCrunch Battlefield is the best platform to launch our product. We really are very excited about the possibility to show our product to the world on this stage on the CES at Las Vegas. All right, so you just saw the folks from Driblet, a uh, quick video. This is Rodolfo Ruiz, and now you guys have six minutes on the clock to show us uh, how this thing works. Good morning, my name is Rodolfo Ruiz, and here's my, one of my co-founders, Mario Garcia. What is one of our main responsibilities as a society? Resources conservation. We need to leave our child, our children, the same kind of access to resources that we have right now. What is the most important resource ever? Breathing air. Then drinking water, fresh drinking water. Unfortunately, we are running out of it by the day. What do we have to do to conserve water? In order to control anything, whatever it is, we need to manage it. How, how can we manage something? We, we need to measure it. How can we measure water right now? We, all of us, we have main meters or, or water meters connected our, at our mains outside our homes. How many times have you checked your email today? How many times have you checked your bank account today? How many times have you checked your water meter reading today? Right? So what we have done here is we have created a smart water meter that can be used inside the home. You can connect Driblet in any water pipe inside your home or in any standard half an inch water pipe, and you will have access to the data. How this works? Driblet is self-powered by the water that runs through it so you don't have to worry about batteries. And it also con uh, can sense uh, water, the water volume, and the temperature that the, of the water that runs through it. Driblet is a ma water management platform that consists of two parts. The first one is a hardware device. As I mentioned, like in this uh, early uh, laboratory setup, this is a standard half an inch pipe, and this is a driblet. Of course, this is a lab setup, this is our latest version of Driblet. It's a small sensor that can be connected anywhere. And what we did here was, for example, let's take the example of a shower. This is the pipe that goes out of your wall. You would connect Driblet in here, and then the shower head on this side. But remember, this is not only for showers. This is for any water pipe. Once you connect this, by using your telephone, you can configure it using your Wi-Fi connection or any Wi-Fi connection. Once you have that, the data that the driblet reads or the driblet senses, it goes to the cloud. And here comes the second part of our system, which is an application. You can access it via a, a, a browser, a mobile application, or an API. Let's check an example. For example, we are going to turn the faucet on, and we are going to turn our, our application on and it will start reading. 
with a little bit of delay because of our Wi-Fi network. Well, we'll move on. M move on. Uh, we are having problems with the uh, Wi-Fi network. Um, what, this do what this does is uh, you will have access to, to, your, to your data in real time. You are welcome to bring your phone to the shower if you want to, but we don't uh, pretend you will do it. So what we have created here is the Driblet Assistant. The Driblet Assistant will ask you a few questions, simple questions. How many people are in your household? Where do you live? Where will you install the Driblet? And by knowing that, we will suggest you common values, recommended values for water usage in your shower or while uh, water in your lawn. Is this enough for uh, conserving water? No. The thing that, that needs to happen here is um, change your habits. But by having real-time uh, feedback via the, uh, the audio alerts and the video al uh, visual alerts on the driblet, you will little by little, day by day, change your habits. We are also focusing on governments. We are also focusing on municipalities, on industries. And for example, we have a few customers here. These guys are already on the table. Charity Water and Well Aware Water uh, will use our driblets in remote locations such as Africa or Asia. They want to monitor uh, the wells re in remote locations. Inuvev will use it at their manufacturing plants. Even uh, NY Cerda will install driblets in, uh, in dorms at State University of New York. Almost every day we receive emails asking us, where can I buy this one? Uh, we've been looking for a product like yours for months, for years. So we are happy now to announce that we will send VETA, VETA units for our testing clients at the end of March. And we are planning to have a consumer grade product for the second semester of 2014. And one more thing. Driblet started trying to conserve water. So we are working with Coca-Cola and Charity Water so that every gallon or every little you can serve at home or you save at home, it will be donated to people that don't have access to it. So we are trying to complete the circle in here. Every step you take at your home, it will reflect for somebody else. Thank you. All right, thank you, Rodolfo. Perfect. So now we have six minutes on the clock for questions. You guys have anything? Uh, how much would the new prototype cost? Um, uh, the new prototype is about, we, don't, we haven't finalized the price yet, finalized the price, but it, it'll be around $79. And easy to install? Yes. Yeah, it's only a matter of screwing and screwing the other end, and that's it. Well, it's much better uh, looking than yeah. that giant thing, Yeah, definitely, thing too. definitely. And, and because <laughs> most homes have more than, you know, they have several faucets that you yeah. have to monitor. <coughs> we don't want you to put an ugly thing on your beautiful bathroom or we don't want your missus to tell you, are you planning to put this thing on my bathroom? Right. No way. So right? does, uh, does, the, um, does the application uh, on your iPhone uh, handle more than one faucet? Yes. Oh, it will? Yes, it can control as, as many faucets oh, as okay. you want. We are uh, proposing or we are telling our customers that they only need to use driblets, for example, at showers and at sinks and maybe yards. Because well, those are the places where... up an awful lot of water. Yes. So okay, there's you, any way to monitor that? I mean, or, or should we just have a counter of flushes a day? Yes. yes. That's, another, that's another product, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah. this goes on yeah. to the main. Would this go on the main line coming in, or would you do this mm -hmm. on each individual? Because you basically have hot and cold coming up in like the quick release. Those <clears throat> no. Um, we are telling customers, for example, in the shower, you would put it at the last pipe. Right. You, uh, so you don't want to use wall. this. So you have this, this weird thing hanging out on your wall. Yes. So you just have to say, like, I'm saving the world with it or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so one of the things that you mentioned is that there's a lot of places around the world that can benefit yes. from this where water is very short, but there's a bit of a disconnect because the places that can benefit from it the most are the ones where the price is very high for something like this yeah. and they may not have access to mobile devices. So how would you bridge that um, and, and have this actually have the impact in the places where it can Well, be. we are already talking, for example, with San Francisco, San Jose, and even Monterey water municipalities or water departments in order for them to buy driblets and then provide them to, uh, for a low cost to people. But our main goal is to bring the price down to be able to produce this in volume so the prices goes down so nobody thinks twice about installing something like this. 
So the use case is to have as many driblets as you have sources of potential sort of waste, but that's a lot of devices. And yeah. how do you maintain them? What's the, um, it's powered? Uh, it's self-powered. It self you, you don't have to charge any batteries. That's one thing we wanted. We want people to forget about the device. We want people to forget even about the application because the feedback will be on real time. Every time you take a shower, you will hear the beep or see the light. And you will, day by day, change your habits, little by little. And that little will mean, a, will mean a lot for all of us as a society. Are you actually working with uh, device manufacturers, like shower heads, so that you can integrate that in a shower head? We are going to do that. We are preparing our IP portfolio, because there, are, there have been some companies that have approaches uh, in terms of licensing it. So that's a venue that, that we're going to explore in the future. And how do you handle uh, like hard water, or just sludge in the water, or something like that? Is there a way to, is there, do you have a filter in there or is it just going to uh, get gross? There in is, there? here in this unit there isn't, but there is a small filter here for residues. Okay. Um, and we are planning to make the, cham the water chamber uh, removable and, and easily ex exchangeable so oh, yeah, you, you can give it some maintenance after three to five years. Mm -hmm. What sort of gross margin are you expecting on the device? Uh, the cost margin? The gross margin, yeah. Oh, the gross margin? Uh, about 60%. Because if you look at Nest, which has been very successful, yes. they managed to um, sell a ton of devices at 250 bucks. Yeah. And clearly, they, it doesn't cost 250 bucks to build the device, so they, they are making monster margins. By compressing the price, you can actually make it available and affordable to people, but at the same time, there's also Yes, I have to take care of my yeah. business too. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. How many have you had in use so far in your testing? Uh, right now, we have only about 20. but. Uh, what I mentioned is that we're planning for, uh, to launch about 200 to our beta testers in, at the end of March. So the only, the only uh, kind of monitoring is that beep that's going to change that's, a habit? That's a feedback, yeah. But it's the habit. I mean, we're, we, you have a huge educational challenge of, yeah. of getting yes. people to say, oh, well, you know, I should be saving water, and here I am, I love half-hour showers. At the, at the beginning, we thought our main customer would be the residential user. Be for example, I had the idea of this because I have a teenage daughter that loves to take long showers. <laughs> so I needed a way to prove her that she was using too much water. And I thought I was going to be my main customer. It results, it, I am not. It's industry. Because I don't feel the pain for, for my water bill. These companies, they are already fe feeling the pain. So Driblet will be open to anyone in the world that wants to conserve water, but our main focus first it's going to be big organizations. So this will beep when you use the shower, when you, if you have a certain setting, like I need to, I want to use five gallons or whatever. Yes. It'll beep when it goes past five gallons? Um, you will have alerts. You, you will be able to configure if you want to, for a certain amount of water, for a certain time, for a certain temperature, or for a certain am amount of dollars or pesos or whatever. And if I, were at a, if I were at a school, I would set this up for all the showers in the school yes. and say, hey, incidentally, you guys are using too in much In the case water. of uh, Sunny, they will put it at showers at the dorms so they can control it. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go direct? Are you going to have you sort of discuss with Home Depot <coughs> or Lowe's in the US? What's at the beginning, we're are? going to go direct because retail is very expensive. Right now, we are actually being accepted into a, a hardware accelerator in Madison, Wisconsin called Generator. And we are, we are going to work with them on, on making this uh, price flexible and uh, better looking and consumer grade. And maybe next year, I'm, I'm hoping next year we will be talking with uh, big retailers.